Hey everybody, it's Darcy. I hope you're having a great day. So I'm pretty excited about today's video. I'm actually going to be doing a three marker challenge with my Copic markers. Now just so you know, Copic markers are alcohol based markers and they're I think pretty well known as the top of the line marker in the industry for professionals. Not that I'm a professional, but I, I have a few. Um, now, I'm, I know you're gonna say to yourself, oh my gosh, Darcy, there are so many three marker or three color challenges on YouTube. It's crazy. There's probably maybe over a thousand. That's how popular this is. The concept is uh, behind it is you take three different colors and you try and create a picture with just those three colors and see actually how it turns out. And the colors are picked randomly, which I'll get more into in a second. Um, now, when I went to school, or as I'm going to school right now, um, color theory is really important. Um, the one thing about this challenge that I've seen in some videos that I wanted to stay away from was you can take any three colors and draw anything you want. However, um, as you can probably imagine, if you're trying to do a banana and your only three colors are a dark blue, a pale green, and perhaps a, a violet or a, a different shade of purple, you can draw a banana. It's probably not going to look too much like a, a banana, or if it does look like a banana, it's just not going to be looking too great. So you do want to, when you approach these sort of challenges, I think you want to have sort of good, a good set of colors to work with, but a challenging set of colors to work with, as opposed to just three random colors that you throw down um, on a piece of paper. Now, talking about random um, color generations, I didn't have a lot of luck at first. It actually took me three tries. The very first time, I and I just sort of pick random, no secret behind it, but I picked two very light flesh tones and a light gray. <laughs> so I was looking thinking, oh great, I'm gonna be able to draw some pale dude with gray hair, which was basically me, and I've already done one of those videos, I can post that. So I said, no, I, I, I don't wanna do that. So I tossed those. My second draw of colors, ironically was the complete opposite. I actually picked a blue, a red, and a yellow, the three primary colors. I could literally do a rainbow in all the rainbow colors, and to me that was just not even worth doing. I mean, that's just drawing. Now the third time though, the third time I did have some luck, and let's go over some of those colors. We're gonna do a swatch before we do a uh, a color study with the three market challenge. I've picked actually uh, two locomotive trains. Um, so let's go over that. If you like this sort of video, I'm um, getting a lot of support lately. I really appreciate it. Uh, please hit like and subscribe and share with your friends. And I hope you're having a great day. So let's go. Let's look at the color swatch first. Thanks. So here is my swatches. As you can see, the three colors that I picked are light walnut, pea green, and amethyst. And there they are on the bottom of that. Uh, my, I'm happy with these choices. I think I can do something with it. My one concern is I'm not going to be able to get very dark. So this might be an issue down the road. I may have to cheat a little bit, but let's wait and see and when I get there. Okay, so here we go. Take care. Hey there, just me again. Thanks for sticking around. So I'm at a point right now where I kind of like it. Um, it's okay. There it is there, quickie. However, I think we're going to have to cheat on this a little bit. From my original reference photo, 
there's a lot more darker colors that I can't achieve by mixing my um, green pea soup color and uh, the light walnut. So what I'm going to do for the next minute is I'm going to hit it with some India ink and some black uh, Copic highlighters. Okay, so come back in a minute and then we're going to hit one last thing and then we're going to call it done like a dinner. Okay, here we go. Hey there. So I'm really glad I added the black. I think things pop out a little bit more and it's actually given the, uh, the piece a lot of depth, which is important. Um, and then for the last little bit here, I've added black. I might as well add some white highlights with a white jelly roller. And then that's going to be it. Please like and subscribe. Hope everything's well. Send me a message if you want to try and see something. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, have a great day.